Season two of the Mayans MC is ready for launch. We're talking to the stars. We're hoping a lot of them made it. Here they are. Are you going to make it past season two? We think so. Viviana. Viviana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Two questions. Yes. 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 yes, I'll keep that. We'll keep it together. I appreciate it. The pressure. I talk so much. I'll keep it short. And I talk a lot. We're screwed. You do? Oh, my, oh my God. God. We'll be here for an hour. And I have a mic. Can we get some chairs? You can sit on it. can sit on it. You know. Yeah, we'll sit on the bike. Let's just talk. Is that yeah, allowed? Let's just talk. Yeah. Uh, season two, man. Congrats. Yeah, thank you so much. This is a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah. I hope we get three, four, five, six. Seven. I hope so too, because the fans are dying. We want more and more and more. Oh, yes, yes. Thank and you. I feel like the writers could keep coming up with great ideas. You know, the writers do a good job. You know, yeah, Kurt, yeah. Kurt Sutter and Elgin James and the rest of the group of the writers, they do a good job. Yeah, yeah. They give us good things to say and people like it. So we're happy. So the guys on this show, I've been meeting them in person. Nicest guys I ever met in my, but you guys are assassins, man. We are. It's just a real dichotomy. Well, because that's, it's the best way not to get caught. Ah. You know, you got to put on a different face. <laughs> and then behind that face, you're doing something else. And they're going, no, not him. <laughs> not him. He's sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm sweet until you cross me. Uh-oh. So that's the best way to do it. All right. Enough. We have a lot in common. Don't cross oh, us. Oh, oh, we will okay. get you. Oh, my God. Um, so I heard Richie was telling us that they're playing jokes and tricking each other on set and, and scaring each other. You run into any of that? I stay out of it. Because okay. it's like in, we're in high school. I'm like, dude, stop. <laughs> Sometimes it's five in the morning and they're trying to play practical jokes. It's like, dude, I just got up like 20 minutes ago. Stop. I haven't had my coffee and I haven't had a donut. I haven't had my facial treatments. No, no, I don't do facials. No, no, no. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. I'm not going to say who it is, but no, no. I don't do makeup. I don't do hair. I don't do nothing. It's a motorcycle club. So, all I all I need is tight on pants. On camera, but then. No, uh, never. Okay. I don't know. No, no, that's no, no, You're no. You're just no, beautiful. That's just not, right. no, no. Well, thank you. Okay. But that's just not the type of guy. No, I use deodorant. That's it. I don't even have cologne. <laughs> I don't own cologne. They give me cologne for Christmas, birthdays. I have a collection of it. Good. I never open them. It smells good to it's me. Just, it's just brute. That's all, <laughs> that's it is. all they keep giving It's Old Spice. Better than cool water. Oh, yes, yes, Okay, yes. that's the famous one. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So uh, tell me what we were most excited about season two to reveal. I mean, we kind of were left with a lot of unfinished business in season one. What, what were you looking forward to your character evolving as and even other characters? Well, me personally, uh, my character, I want to get my title back. I want to get my, my patch, my yeah. secretary, secretary patch back. I was doing something, you know, that I didn't think it was a big deal, but the club didn't feel the same way. And they took my title and they took my money for me and my aunt, Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were just helping the girls come across from Mexico through the tunnel and helping them, you know, get out of that world into another world that whatever. It's not great, but it's better than the one that they were in before. So I want to get my title back. And uh, that's, that's my goal personally as Michael Riz. Um, and other things, but you know, I don't know how much I can say. I don't know either. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What about working in this theme and working, you know, in the theme of border life? Has it opened your eyes up to anything? Have you learned anything? You know, yes. Personally, working on the border is amazing because we have the two worlds. We have the Mexico, we have the United States, and the duality as human beings. It's just who we are, not only as actors, but outside of being an actor, as a human being, a lot of us are Hispanic. Chicanos. You know, Chicano, Mexicano, Cubano, Puerto Rican, you know, I don't know. Right. Yo, so Mexicano, I'm Mexican. Yeah. So I understand that duality. You don't know where you are and where you belong. Ni de there, aquí, ni de allá. Ni de aquí, ni de allá. But over there, they see you as like, oh, you're from over there now. Yeah. And then here, they're like, oh, you're from. So you, it's that duality that you're trying to find your place at the yeah. table. Not always easy. No. But we push forward and, and make progress that way. Yeah. Well, I love it, man. I won't keep you Gracias. all night because we probably Thank could. You. Thank you. Mucho gusto. Thank you. Mucho gusto. Felicidades. Thanks for watching Red Carpet Report. We've had a great time here on the carpet. Don't miss the Mayans MC season two on FX, September 3rd. Come on through guys, everybody's excited.